Welcome to the promotional video of our work on the Infrastructure Ombudsman, Mining Future Failure Concerns from Structural Disaster Response. My name is Tauhid, and I'm currently a PhD candidate at the Rochester Institute of Technology. On January 28, 2022, at 6.39 a.m., the Fern Hollow Bridge in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania collapsed. Due to the timing of the failure, fewer vehicles were on the bridge, resulting in 10 people suffering injuries with no fatalities. On that same day, incidentally, Pittsburgh was getting ready for a visit from President Biden. This infrastructural failure, coinciding with a high-profile political visit, attracted considerable media attention to the struggling infrastructural health in the United States. As we were going through the social web discussions surrounding this issue, multiple broad themes emerged. There were words of compassion for the victims and belief about no fatalities. On the other hand, there were also conspiracy theories and partisan blame game and political name calling. Comments critical of general United States infrastructure and the failure of local administration were also common. Last but not the least, comments of sarcastic nature were seen as well. However, we also noticed a small minority of comments that expressed worry about a possible failure of other specific bridges in the country. We can see a few more rare examples expressing concern of such possible failure points, identifying precise locations, failures that are yet to happen but a responsible citizen is worried that they might because of the shock from a present failure that gives them an outlet to voice their concerns. Intuitively, we can model this as a needle in a haystack problem but what would be useful for the appropriate authorities? Precise location information will be key for the concern to be actionable. The post about the bridge over the Merrimack River in Lower Massachusetts uniquely identifies the bridge. Similarly, the complaint about roads in Pennsylvania has a reasonably precise location. The haystack that we must find our needle in are other discourses. For example, unless the content is geotagged, it is impossible to infer the location from there's a railroad overpass not far from where I live. Our final example has a precise location information and talks about infrastructural issues. Good, but it's focused on praise rather than worry about a future failure. Anticipatory infrastructure concerns are indeed a rare class among the broader themes we discussed. To overcome this problem, our objective is to determine if a given social web post contains evidence of specific and actionable potential infrastructural failure. The task is to develop automatic identification of such texts. The approach we take is to frame it as a binary text classification problem. We demonstrate that our content classifier can effectively aid humans in detecting potential candidates that express future infrastructure concerns.